everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I just realized that when this video is going up, it is already December and I wanted to uh, make some nice holiday clothing, festive clothing uh, for Christmas and for New Year's Eve, but I have to be really fast to do that because uh, we only have a few weeks and I want this uh, video to go up first because I got quite some uh, questions about the measurements making and I did it in the very first video I uploaded but uh, they asked if I could do a special uh, video about it that I can explain how you can do your measurements right and not only for sewing but also when you want to buy uh, clothing online you really need to know your sizing because otherwise you are going to fail when you uh, order it and then you have to send it back and that's always a shame so I want to make this video first about taking measurements but then I would be quick for some nice festive clothing and uh, in, uh, even the um, next one will be a golden top so that will be a nice one and then I will try to be very quick maybe even uh, upload f uh, faster than the next Monday to make a, a night blue velvet dress I think that will be a nice one too for the holidays so We'll do that. Um, now first uh, take the measurements and uh, I hope you enjoy that. Well of course it's best to take your measurements over only your underwear because that is where your clothing goes over. Um, for the purpose of this video I put on a long sleeve and a legging but uh, if, you try, if you measure yourself then just take your underwear and wear a bra that you, uh, a type of bra that you wear mostly. Um, if you're gonna make a garment that uh, ask for a special bra, that can, you can also always for that purpose uh, measure yourself again so that it's fitting with that bra too. But take the uh, underwear that you usually wear, then you get the most precise um, measurements. Um, what I do that you saw in my videos, I have this painting. I don't know if you can see it. It's very bright now. There, yeah, that's better. Uh, the paintings um, where I uh, take my measurement, uh, where I write my measurements down um, because then you can very quick see what it is. Uh, for this video I uh, made a list uh, where you can uh, write down what the uh, measurements are and you can choose if you just hold that list by hand or search for measurements like this. I have a block of 50 of these papers I think. It is. Um, the purpose of it is to uh, make your designs on it because then you have a drawing already for people like me who can draw it all. You already have a person to draw your garments on and so this is very nice to have. But you can also just have a list. So the first measurements we're gonna do, I have a mirror here so when I look there then that's why. But I can also look in the viewfinder. The first measurement is your neck width and that's just from left to right so you go from this side of your neck to that side of your neck and you measure that one. That's your first measurements and for sewing you take half of that. So half of that measurement is what you write down in your uh, list. The next measurement is your shoulder and it is from the, your neck to where your shoulder goes down, so where you want the seam of your blazer or your blouse or your sweater to be. So you go from there to your neck to your shoulder. And for me it is 11 centimeters, I think, yes, it's 11. So that's the second measurement. The third measurement is your chest, and that's a very important one. So you take your measuring tape and you go around the biggest part of your chest, so if you look, maybe this way it's more brighter, the uh, largest part of your breast and make sure that on the back it's not dropping down because often I see people measuring themselves and then it's like this, that's a different measurement that you measure like that, so make sure it's horizontal, totally horizontal and then you measure your width and that's your chest width. For sewing you need a quarter chest on your uh, patterns and this is the first measurement you need when you want to buy clothes online. You need your chest, your waist and your hips so this is the first one and then you take your whole measurement. So for me it's 88 uh, when you need it for sewing you take a quarter of that 88 and that's 22. The fourth measurement is your waist. So you take your measuring tape and you hold it on your waist. Don't pull it too tight as many people do because then you have less 
inches or less centimeters no one can see it you don't have to tell anyone what your measurements are so just uh, have it loosely and then see how much it is for me it is 67 66 but don't pull it too tight because then your garments won't fit nicely and it's all just too tight in the waist and it's very annoying so just uh, measure um, securely but not uh, I don't know what never mind that's your waist so for buying it's the whole uh, measurement that you take now for sewing it's the quarter waist so for your pattern quarter waist is the uh, measurement that you need the fifth ones are your hips and that's also a very important one to measure right um, because that's what most people do wrong let's say you see that I'm in the focus so you put it around your waist and first you look in the mirror what you think your widest part is so for me I think it's here but then you look from the side in the mirror and see where your butt is most out because that's the, the problem some people have their butt here some people have them here I have them water low so I have to go a bit lower and that where your butt is the most sticking out that is your widest part of your hips and that's the measurement you want to have so look very closely in the mirror where it's sticking out like here and then you can see maybe it's another point as that you thought before uh, for buying clothes in the stores or online this is your hip measurement all around uh, for sewing it's your quarter hip so then we have all the horizontal measurements now we go to the vertical measurements and the first one is the apex the apex is the nipple of your boob so you put your uh, measuring tape on your shoulder and you measure where your nipple is and that is the apex height uh, you don't need it for buying online but you certainly need it for uh, making clothing yourself the seventh one is your armhole and that's a very important one because well, I really hate it when my um, uh, shirts or blouses or whatever it is are too tight in my uh, armpits so uh, I find it very important to make my armholes low enough but not too low because otherwise you can see your bra uh, sticking out because your armhole is too low so be very uh, precise how low you think you want your armhole to be for me it is 22 I know by now because I have to use it very often so just see what it, it it's no uh, science just see and look in the mirror where do you want it to be full, full where your bra is and then take just a little bit above and that is your armhole width the eighth one is the length of your torso usually they measure it, measure it in your back but you can also do it in the front I also do, always do it in the front because I think it's more um, secure it's more precise because I have my boobs here and when I take my um, back size it's just a couple of centimeters le uh, less so I always measure it in the front put, put your measuring tape on your shoulder near your neckline and then go down to where your waist is for me it's 42 41 42 so that is the height of your torso then the strange one but very important if you want uh, tight fitting uh, clothing um, fit precisely and it is the height of your hips and it is um, the difference between your waist and where you just measured your hips so again you watch where you need your measuring tape to be for your hips look in the mirror where your butt is sticking out the most that's the point where your hips are and then you measure you can do it with another measuring tape or with a ruler or whatever or just hold your finger where you measure now where your measuring tape is now and then you take your measuring tape in your waist and see how much it is down to your hip measurement and that is your height of your hips then you have your sitting height <coughs> And that's also a strange one but very important when you want a pen that is really um, <coughs> fitting right around your butt so you're gonna sit on a chair you're gonna uh, take your measurement and put it in your waist and then see how far it is down to the sitting uh, seat of your chair 
like that, just a straight line. And that is your sitting height. And if you've seen my uh, video about making uh, the pattern of the pants, then you know that this is your sitting height and that we really needed that to get a nice fit to your pants. And then the last one, a bit of a strange angle now to get this in the spot, is your knee, <coughs> sorry, your knee height. And um, that's very important if you want to make pants that flare out from the knee or go in from the knee, whatever you need. Um, some uh, measurements you can just take uh, when you're making a garment, like uh, for when you make pants, you can also uh, measure your knee by now, or when you make a, a shirt or a dress, then you can uh, measure how long you want your sleeves to be or your elbow, where your elbow is. But I, also, I always like to have my knee uh, height just in my measurement uh, chart. So I measure that, so it's your waist, from your waist down to your knee. And that is your knee height. And that's something that you can always uh, use if you want that, because uh, sleeves are different. Sometimes I want a shorter sleeve or a longer sleeve, depending on what type of top or blouse I'm making. And that's why I don't uh, put that on in my, um, in my chart. Okay, so that were all the measurements. Um, yeah, we have a nice list now with all the measurements we have and it's very ha uh, nice to have that on hand when you are making a pattern or when you, when you buy, want to buy online. Um, it's, it's very uh, annoying when you have to measure again and again when you want to make something. It takes a lot of time, you have to go off from what you're doing, measure and then go back and then the next one, oh I forgot because I got a telephone in between and you have to measure again. Now you have a list and make sure that you update that list when you know you have uh, gained some weight or lost some weight or uh, your, your uh, uh, body type changed a bit uh, make sure that you always update your charts, uh, charts with the, your measurements so that it's always um, uh, like the situation is now it's always updated and that's very nice to, uh, to have so this was this tutorial a strange one but a very important one and a very needed one. So I hope you liked it. If you liked my tutorials, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There are lots of uh, nice videos to come. Uh, I will um, certainly make a pace to uh, make the golden top uh, as fast as possible. And uh, also for the dress for uh, the holidays. It will be nice if, uh, if you got, uh, got the opportunity to uh, recreate it for the holidays. And uh, you have some nice garment that you made yourself. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you have any suggestions what I uh, would make, uh, what you saw in the shops, what you like to make yourself and that you need some help from me, let me know. Uh, I will be glad to, uh, to make a video out of it and then we have something else uh, to make. Um, what else? No, nothing else. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week uh, for my golden top. Bye! <music>